For most, the apology is decades overdue. A five-year inquiry, which ended last year, heard from thousands of victims who, as children, suffered sexual abuse by people they were supposed to trust. Priests in churches, teachers in schools, carers in orphanages, coaches in sports clubs. The stories of what they inflicted are appalling. Today, Australia confronts a trauma, an abomination, hiding in plain sight for far too long. There were so many survivors, as most prefer to be called, that a ballot was held to get into Parliament to hear the apology. Others watched outside. Well, Damien DeMarco fought off a Catholic teacher who tried to abuse him, and he saw the teacher abuse others. DeMarco was selected to hear the apology in Parliament, but last week he was wary of what would be said. Yeah, I, I would like to hear what they have to say um, and, and what they plan to do to ensure that it doesn't repeat itself. After hearing the apology, DeMarco approved of the tone and nature. It's just fantastic that they were saying this isn't the, the end, this is the beginning. This is the beginning of a, a new era, hopefully, where people in positions of authority will place the interests of the children before their own personal religious interests. During his two speeches and meeting people on the lawns outside Parliament, Scott Morrison was at times heckled. Some feel he's a hypocrite, that what his government is currently doing to refugee children held on the prison island of Nauru is a new form of child abuse. Others feel this apology is too little too late. Hundreds of people were here in person to hear the apology, but thousands were not. Many died before they got the chance to hear an apology to them by an Australian Prime Minister. A chair was left empty at the front of the hall to symbolise them and many others boycotted the apology altogether. Some feel angry that institutions such as the Catholic Church continue to receive hundreds of millions of dollars of taxpayers' money to run schools and that compensation schemes don't go far enough. So many people lost their lives and committed suicide. What are we doing for their families? Nothing. Sorry only goes so far. Andrew Thomas, Al Jazeera, Canberra.